So what are some of the strategies and some of the keys to success? What are some of the things that people who start and, and structure their first 90 days that are highly effective at it? What are some of those things that they do? Well, the first thing that they do and the first or the most common thing that I observed that will set you off for success is deliberate learning. So this is all about, and I talked about the common trap about not doing discovery. This is all about doing discovery. So spending time to actually learn and not just learn about the product that I mentioned about also learn about the political aspects and stuff, but also about being very deliberate about it. We don't just walk into a job and just kind of make up the learning or we don't just expect somebody else to give us a big list of things to learn. We actually take control of that learning and we create our own learning plan. And we're very deliberate about that. And I've got a whole way to do that and a whole kind of this part of this workshop and we'll get into that a bit later. But being deliberate about how we learn. Learning is really important because we want to understand the context and we want to be able to match our, our, our approach to the context and to the situation. As I mentioned before, no, no two products, organizations, teams are gonna be the same. And you need to spend some time learning about it, understanding it in order to best be able to inform your approach, but also to be able to adapt your approach to that situation. So deliberate learning, we'll get into how to structure that in a little bit. The next thing, and it shouldn't be a surprise either, is deliberate relationship building. So talked about setting those foundations and neglecting that as a common trap. So a key to success is being deliberate about our relationship building. So just like with deliberate learning, we want to be deliberate about our relationships. And I will get deep into how to structure that, but we wanna do things like create a stakeholder map. We wanna think about who do we need to build relationships and why? And then how do we intend to start to build that relationship and create those foundations for something to be able to continue to be built upon even beyond our first 90 days on the job? So being very deliberate around that as well. And we'll get into how to structure that um, in the later sections. The next one is about having a clear vision and milestones. So people who are successful in starting a new job have a very clear vision of what they want to see at the end of the 90 days. What does success look like? Is it that you're confident in your job or is it that you've, you know, you've built that trust and rapport or have you delivered something substantially and you feel like you're actually creating an impact in the organization? What is that? And we'll get into creating that vision in a little bit, but having that clear view of what are you chasing for the 90 days? What does success look like? And how do you break that down into clear milestones? Well, I need to do this and that. Very focused around our 90 days and having a very deliberate plan around it. That's gonna set you up for success. The next one is about adapting to the context. So learning about the context is one thing, but we also need to adapt to it. Being able to recognize that the things that were done in the past may not work in this organization because it might be a smaller organization or a large enterprise or it, it doesn't matter, it's gonna be different. And also accepting that the things that we think we know are also assumptions, assumptions about this organization. They might've worked in the previous organization, but it's an assumption that it's going to work here. So really being able to be adaptive, and I've got a whole course on adaptive leadership um, that you can also check out, but being able to be adaptive as a leader, as a product manager, is really key to us being influential without authority. It's very key to being successful as a product manager as well, being able to adapt to the environment around us. The next one is about having clear expectations, and I'm gonna bucket this with having regular communication because the two kind of go hand in hand. You need to have regular communication in order to be able to set clear expectations. Now, having clear and realistic expectations is really important um, and a very key part to being successful in your first 90 days. The only way you're gonna achieve this is by having the right conversations. We'll get into what those conversations are later and being able to have regular conversations. So you wanna be able to have conversations about what your manager expects of you, what stakeholders expect of you, but also what the team expects of you. And it's also a two-way street. You wanna be able to be clear back to them what your expectations of them are and whether their expectations on you align to your expectations as well. So being able to have them have those conversations and to do it in an effective way is a really key part to being successful. The next key thing that 
product managers who are successful in the first 90 days do is they secure early wins. We'll get more into the definition of an early win and what that looks like, but essentially we need to be able to get runs on the board. Now we need to balance this against the action imperative and not taking action too early, but we can't wait too long. So I put these in your 30 to 60 day bucket, sprint two, we'll get into that when we get into sprint two, um, but it's all about getting runs on the board. By getting runs on the board, that's how you build trust and respect and rapport, and also how you build credibility. You need to actually prove to them that you can do the job. Just because you got the job meant that you passed a certain amount of hurdles, but you can't really know whether somebody's completely competent in a role just from interviews. We try our best to do that, but you've got to be mindful that you're still being tested even when you start the job. They're still looking at you to see whether their judgment during the interviews were correct and whether the things that you said and you managed to demonstrate in the interviews actually translate to the job. So it's really important that you can actually do that, secure those early wins, build that credibility, and that's gonna be a very core part to success. We're gonna spend a decent amount of time on that one. The next is about regular reflection. Now it's really important that we do reflect. Even just personally, what am I doing? How has the first 30 days gone? How am I gonna adjust and pivot for the next 30 days? Have I fallen into any of those traps? Am I missing any of these keys to success or these strategies? And, and should, I, should I focus more on any one of them? This is gonna be really important to do. We'll talk about doing regular reflection at a minimum. I put it at, each of the, at the end of each sprint, so every 30 days, but by all means, you can do it more often. This also means reflecting with your stakeholders or with your manager, spending some time actually doing some reflection with them. How am I tracking? Am I meeting your expe expectations? Am I not? Are we being clear on those things? It ties back into the clear expectations and the regular communication, but making sure we're spending time to reflect. The next one is about building credibility and trust. This goes in with the secure and early wins, and I talked a bit about that, but a really something that people who are very successful in the first 90 days do is they always build credibility and trust. They build trust through relationships, they build credibility through secure and early wins, they have regular communication, they make sure their expectations are clear, so then they can build that trust and credibility. This is gonna be paramount for going beyond the 90 days. You need to have a strong foundation of credibility and trust in order to take it beyond 90 days and be successful in the role long term. And the last one is about creating coalitions. Now this is a part about creating those effective relationships, but it's also more than that. You need to build and get people on your side. You gotta build these coalitions of people who you can leverage and, and they can leverage you so you can be successful beyond the 90 days. Coalitions aren't too, aren't too key for your 90 days, but it's gonna be a key to success beyond that. Remember that as a product manager, success depends on your ability to influence other people. We don't have authority often as product people, um, so we need to lead without authority and to be able to influence without it. This means we need to build some of those coalitions. We need to build those alliances with people who aren't directly in our control. We need to build coalitions with people in sales and marketing, people in other product teams, with other product managers, so we can influence them and we can leverage them later on down the track so we can be successful in our role. So just to recap, some of the keys to success and the ones that I observed the most is that we engage in deliberate learning. We're deliberate about it. We create our own backlog of learning. We structure it in an effective way and we'll get more into that, but we're very focused in the type of learning that we give. We don't just learn about technical things. We also learn about the cultural aspects, the political aspects of the organization. We spend time being deliberate about our relationships. We don't just let relationships happen, we are focused, we have a plan, we know who we wanna build a relationship with, we know how we're gonna do that and we actually execute on that. We have a clear vision and milestones for what success looks like for the 90 days. We might not achieve it, but we need to have a good goal that we're traveling towards. And we know how to adapt to the context. We lean into the new role knowing that we have a lot of assumptions and we could be wrong and we actually spend time validating those assumptions, doing the right learning, and making sure we're adapting to the context effectively. We also have regular communication with the right people, and we make sure we set the right expectations. Expectations are clear, we regularly talk about them, and they're also realistic. 
We spend time building credibility and trust via those relationships, via that communication, but also more importantly, by securing early wins. We actually make sure we get runs on the board and we make sure that those runs are built in on our credibility and we can build trust. We spend time reflecting either individually or with the key people that we need to, like our managers, and we make sure we invest some time in building alliances and coalitions with people who are not in our direct influence. We need them to be successful in the long term. So we make sure we start to build those foundations and start to influence those people so we can leverage that beyond the 90 days and long-term success inside the role.